For those of you who saw my last video about bismuth, we all know that it's famous for its iridescent rainbow coloring in metallic form. But what if we could create more colors with bismuth through chemistry? There are many paint pigments out there that are comprised of bismuth compounds. For example, bismuth vanadate, bismuth trioxide, and bismuth oxychloride. After some googling, I uncovered a text from the 1920s about how to make yellow bismuth trioxide through the, quote, ignition of bismuth hydroxide. Bismuth hydroxide wasn't that hard to make, apparently, and I think I did end up making some with a heavy amount of ammonium chloride uh, in there as well. Here I am diluting the reagents needed for this reaction, hydrochloric acid and ammonium chloride. Dumping in my gray bismuth oxide, I added the hydrochloric acid and waited for it to start dissolving. It was barely noticeable, but I did see evidence that a reaction occurred based on bubbles forming on the surface of the bismuth. As the dissolution process continued, I started to see more shiny bits of metal as the solution turned greenish. After isolating the solution, I added my ammonium hydroxide to the bismuth chloride, forming bismuth hydroxide and ammonium chloride smoke. I continued adding the ammonium hydroxide slowly, eventually you can see a white precipitate forming that sort of looks like cottage cheese, and that is our bismuth hydroxide.
After a couple days of drying, I spread out my product on a steel bowl and torched it. We have some results. See the little little bit of yellow in there? I believe that is bismuth trioxide. Tiny little pebble of it. There you go. Still kind of warm, but we made a tiny, tiny, tiny amount. It worked. Let's see if we can scale this up.